This how-to video will demonstrate the function and navigation of the equipment list. When the FieldNet app opens, you are navigated to the equipment list. The equipment list will display all of your compatible FieldNet enabled products in one place. You may use a press and drag or swipe gesture to view items further down the list. Each row in the equipment list will provide critical system and performance information sent directly from the hardware in the field. Different colors and statuses are used to provide a quick reference as to what is going on in the field. The equipment status icon will display the equipment position, pump, and accessory status, direction of travel, and service stops. The list will also display performance data such as pressure, voltage, flow, RTU status, and ambient air temperature if compatible sensors are installed. The equipment list has powerful search capabilities that allow you to filter the list based on equipment name, equipment type, or equipment group. Another important feature of the equipment list is the multiple stop function. This is useful when you need to stop multiple pivots simultaneously in situations where unexpected rainfall event occurs. Using the overflow menu, tap on the select multiple option. You can now select any number of pivots and laterals and apply a stop command to all by tapping Stop Selected. To cancel your selection, you can press the Cancel button at the top of the screen. To ensure the equipment list is displaying the most up-to-date data, you should periodically scroll to the top of the list and using a pull-down gesture, perform a refresh. And that's it. You're ready to get started using your equipment list. To learn more or see the rest of the FieldNet how-to videos, visit the Lindsay Irrigation YouTube channel.